this strengthens and affirms our faith in you to guide us and lead us as we travel in our academic journeys. And may knowledge increase even as we share from the wealth of experience and research that he will be presenting today. And may our joy be seen as friends, colleagues, family members together. We are gathered here to support him. And may you strengthen him as he stands before us, that he may deliver what he has prepared. May your name be praised and honored, for in Jesus' name we pray. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to once more welcome you to the 37th inaugural lecture of this great institution titled Emerging Software Capabilities, a Life Plan for Economic Growth and Sustainable Development. With recognition concluded, it is my pleasure to invite the editor and Larry, as the president vice chancellor, to give his introductory remarks.
University. has held various positions in Babcock University was, and is still the Dean School of Computing and Engineering Sciences 2022 till date. Head of Department of Computer Science 1999 to 2003. Head of Department of Student Representative School of Science and Technology 2008 to 2010. Director Applications and Database Services a unit under Information Technology Department Services, ITDS, 2010 till date. Our inaugural lecturer of today, among which are Nigerian Computer Society of Nigeria, Computer Professional Registration of Nigeria, also examiners to various institutions, including River State University, University of Uyu, Rindima University, Adelike University, and Kelebi University, and so on. To a very beautiful woman, Professor Mrs. Olubumi Ajoke Idowu, a professor of English language, and their marriage has produced three lovely, beautiful, and brilliant daughters Dr. Oreolu Idowu, a medical doctor. Ms. Okwayemi Dowu, a nurse, and Ms. Muyi Dowu, a medical student at Benjamin Carson School of Medical Sciences. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me as we welcome to the podium the 37th inaugural lecturer of Babcock University as he presents his inaugural address titled Imagine software capabilities, lifeline for economic growth and sustainable development. Let us welcome him to the podium.
the President Vice Chancellor, the Senior Vice President Deputy Associates, the University of School of Computer and Engineering Sciences, all other faculty and staff of Babcock University, the President Nigeria Computer Society, the President Computer Professional Regional Council of Nigeria, my law spiritual and temporal, friends of the university and special guests, my immediate and extended family members, students of the School of Computing and Engineering Sciences, all other students of Babcock University, sir, the lecture talk for economic growth and sustainable development. In the 21st century, IT has become a very critical agent in different aspects of business and society, providing solutions and dynamic changes for economic and social issues. From personal computing to the advent of the internal internet that makes provision for distributed computing and globalization of problem solving techniques, information technology has remodeled our world today and still fashioning a dynamic future for the, this generation. More than ever before, our society is dreaming of a quasotic future where emerging technologies, which include a leading position in any society or market that depends on emerging software technologies, now we'll look at a few of these as a start. The first that we look at is Internet of Behaviors, peering content uh, networks, one of innovative sol the solutions on and that is rapidly emerging. This may be attributed to the increasing health, environmental, and social formal software. I express my sincere thanks to both my current and former students at all levels. May God continue to bless you. I cannot forget to express my sincere thanks to Pastor and Mrs. Femi Adishino, who gave me some level of comfort in the USA while studying there without my family then. I want also to thank all the members of the Nigeria Adventist Fellowship in Andrews University the time I was there as the president of the fellowship. I want to express my thanks to the personal ministry team members in Pioneer Church. It is good working with you. My deep appreciation goes to my in-laws, starting with the Anishus, especially my mother-in-law. She is a mother indeed. The Olayinkas, the Dadas, and the Ajais. Also, I want to thank my, I want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Adi Dawadari for their sincere love and support at various times. Let me take this time to thank all my siblings. First of all, I want to thank God on behalf of my mother, whose life has been spared to this day. I pray for more strength and good health as the year goes by. My sincere thanks go to Elder and Mrs. Ebun Yeni. Also goes to Mr. and Mrs. Femi Kupolokun and my other siblings. I want to appreciate my elder brother, Professor Eo Idou, and the wife, Mrs. Modupe Idou. I appreciate also the Barretos, the Fumilayos, and the Odeyemis. Finally, I want to thank my four angels. This is, first is my dear wife, Professor Mrs. Olubumi Do, for her huge support and prayers in all ways. I want to thank my other three angels, Ore Oluwa, Opayemi, and Moyo Oluwa. I'm very proud of you all. Concluding remarks. Mr. Vice Chancellor Sa, in this lecture, have presented the various emerging software capabilities as the main backbone for any economic productivity. For any meaningful development now and in the future, software capabilities serve as the linchpin. Therefore, in order to achieve sustainable development goals, it is important to develop, to deploy more emerging software capabilities. It is necessary also to deploy more software products and services through more investment in solutions-based researches. It has also been pointed out that the, go uh, the government has to provide an intentional and significant support by encouraging and stimulating and enabling the environment, especially for startups, in evolving software capabilities. This will in developers, communities, and also ensure that the participation of the software industry in conjunction with various relevant stakeholders, uh, which is uh, for roles that can be integrated into the policies and development strategies. Thanks for listening and God bless. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. We can all have our seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we can achieve sustainable development goal 
or an economy growth without deploying software capabilities. And therefore, we want to thank the inaugural lecturer of today for a job well done. <laughs> and having successfully presented his research endeavor over the years, now by the power vested on me by the Board of Trustees and the Governing Council of Babcock University, I hereby officially admit you into the professorial seat as professor of computer science with emphasis in software engineering with all its rights and privileges. Congratulations. <laughs> Having done that, inaugural lecture is a very solemn academic tradition which should lack too much of form fear. And therefore, we will take pictures to capture this moment, but I will humbly request that we do that outside this venue. However, we cannot leave this podium without recognizing the four angels, because I heard about the four angels. So the four angels, we come quickly to the podium to take the picture with the inaugural lecture of today, after which all other activities will be done outside here. Thank you very much. I think the principal officers can come here to, to take with the, uh, I think Madame, the, the first angel. <laughs> <laughs> the principal officers, if you are around, please come over to take a picture with the, uh, and then the committee for inaugural lecture. Uh, you have done a good job, so you have to be here also. Finally, the members of the uh, inaugural lecture committee, please come over. And I think I can, if you would not mind, I can join you also. Thank you. 